Well, some of you who attended that concert got to meet Natalie Grant, but all of you have the opportunity to meet Dr. Trudy Pieper later this month. The author of Prevention is the Cure for Cancer, Five Easy Steps is coming to Lima for a book signing. The date is Saturday, April 30th, 11 to 1 at Gifts of Joy on Allentown Road in Lima. You've been enjoying Dr. Trudy's health tips the past couple of years on Faith and Friends. Mm -hmm. Much of the information shared here can also be found in her book, including information about green tea. Today's Lost Creek Care Center Health Moment, Trudy talks with Zach about switching from coffee to tea, the difference between green tea and black tea. Well, Dr. Trudy, this is especially applicable to me today. I am a big coffee drinker, so calling all you coffee drinkers out there, a message for you. We're talking about teas, black and green tea today. That's right, black and green tea, <laughs> very healthy for you. Yeah, compared to the coffee, which I was just telling you earlier, after reading through some of the information you provided, I was inspired enough to ditch the coffee, at least for today, <laughs> I don't know, hopefully long term, and drink some black tea um, because there are many health benefits, isn't there? There are, and with the coffee, it is so acidic. Mm -hmm. So that's another issue besides the fact that it's high in caffeine. Yeah. It causes more acid in your body, which changes the pH, which makes you more likely to have disease. Yeah. So switch to the teas. <laughs> well, you do say here it's gaining ground here in the USA that tea is is gaining ground versus coffee, that is, that there are 15,000 cups drank every second? Every second, that's 500 billion cups of tea oh my every year. <laughs> and as we know, in our country, black tea is more popular. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, tea, I just to qualify that just a little bit, you can drink your black tea, but it does, should not be sweet tea. Uh, okay, this is, difference. Yeah, there's a <laughs> difference there, because then it takes away all the benefits. Sure. So if you can learn to drink it maybe with even just a little honey or with a little stevia, mm -hmm. that's better for you. Um, but and then green tea is more popular in the East or in the Asian countries. Okay, and so let's talk about the differences. What are the differences between those and where does tea come from? Well, tea, they, both black and green tea and white tea for that matter all come from the same plant. Really? The difference is the processing of that. Hmm. And with that, they are both have um, um, oxidation process, but the black tea is fermented. Okay. And that makes the black rich color that it has. Mm -hmm. Through that process, though, that changes the amount of caffeine, and that's one of the biggest differences between uh, the taste of the two, okay. is that, that black tea has more caffeine. And you're looking at more like 200 to 240 to 250 milligrams of caffeine per cup versus green tea or white tea, mm -hmm. which has 30 to 35 milligrams wow. of caffeine per cup. So a pretty significant difference it there is. between. And so you were telling me that black tea is maybe a better uh, transitional tea if you are coming from the coffee, with, which is of course high in caffeine, that the black tea may be easier to uh, transition to than the green tea. Absolutely, I would start that way than going to the green tea because then you may have those little caffeine headaches. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> to do that. Well, well, we talked about there are health benefits and antioxidants specifically within tea. Yes, they are. Um, there's something called catechins, hmm. which are found, and they're more in green tea than in black tea, but they are powerful uh, cancer fighters. Oh. So for one reason, if you want to uh, fight cancer, drink green tea. Black tea also has them, but not mm -hmm. as many. And uh, the, as far as the ph phytonutrients that are found in both black tea and green tea, weigh 10 times more than are in vegetables. So oh, wow. green tea will give you as many uh, cancer fighting as the vegetables will. Okay. But they both have benefits, you know, mm -hmm. so again, it goes back to taste. Mm -hmm. We found that with hearts, you have a 21% less uh, chance of having a stroke if you drink wow. either black or green tea. Um, that's with three cups of tea per day. Okay. Um, it also helps their antiviral and uh, antibacterial, so it can help anything from having a cold or flu to cancer hmm. to do that. It also aids your digestive tract. The tannins in the tree, with the tea, which give it its color, uh, will has therapeutic effect and will help with any kind of gastric uh, or intestinal illnesses that you may have. Okay. And you go even further into bones, stress relief, all of these benefits? Absolutely, and I know that uh, some people are concerned a little bit about the caffeine in the bones, but actually sure. it's the antioxidants and phytonutrients will actually build stronger bones. And some of the gals I have who ask you osteoporosis, we're putting them on tea is one of the first things that oh, we okay. do. Stress theanine is an amino acid that's found in tea and that actually has wonderful control over stress. It's also good for neurotransmitters to make connections in your brain. Hmm. And finally, I like tea because it gives me increased energy. Okay. And with that, it enhances the blood flow to the brain. Sure, sure. And you say, unlike 
um, coffee, which is higher caffeine, well, you won't get that same result. Right, and uh, withdrawal is not jitterous. If I forget to drink my tea, I don't have that <laughs> coffee buzz. Sure. Well, thank you so much for illustrating the benefits of tea, and I'm hoping to stay off of the coffee for now. You do that. <laughs> thank you, Dr. You're Tweedy. welcome.